Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We are now entering a new pattern. The last storm cycle was very good, but it's it's now history. The pattern is in transition. Um, so what I see coming is there is a low in the Pacific Northwest that I'll show you, but it's going to drop down and become weaker and dry out as it slides down through Oregon, the California Sierra, and then it's going to take a southern track, but it's it's not impressive. It just represents the pattern change and it's it's really just a victim of the pattern change. And then high pressure is going to build into the Pacific Northwest for a while after that. I'll show you the jet pattern. And really, I only see light accumulations for a long way out. So that's uh, really what I'm seeing at this point. Let me show you um, what the pattern is right now. So uh, there it is. Uh, there are two different lows. Um, but the first one is the one that will slide south. It's in the Pacific Northwest now, come down through California, and probably catch a little bit of jet support from the southern branch. But again, it's very weak. It's almost inconsequential. It's just very light snow accumulations. It just illustrates the point of how source region and support uh, dynamics are all very important. Moisture content with these storms. Uh, temperature contrast are all very important. The second low is, is a non-player. It's going to go up into Alaska, which it is doing now through the Bering Strait, and stay up in that area and be a non-factor really for the country um, for the lower 48. Um, so I wrote about all this this morning on my blog, Snow Forecast Next 8 Days, ChrisTomer.com. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And then whenever I do an update, which is pretty much every day, you'll get notified in your email box. Really simple, you just go to the end of the post and right here, put in your email address and then just hit uh, subscribe to blog and then that's it. Uh, and then it will, you're all, there's a confirmation that you'll get. So I went through my bullet points and I actually had quite a few this morning talking about how the pattern's in transition, um, it becomes a southern track and then I, I really, the bottom line is there are no big storm cycles in the short-term horizon. I also did a look ahead at the end of the month of November and then into early December. Uh, it's nothing extensive. I just basically talk about the fact that it may become a little more active at the end of November into early December, but let me just show you what's going to happen here in mid-November. So I've got these uh, jet patterns in um, high res here. Here's the 14th. So you can see the low coming out of New Mexico. That's the southern track, light accumulations. Um, also, look at the big ridge, the big sort of like um, upper, uh, sort of the, the, the ridging sort of shape there, where it's amplified in the Pacific Northwest in BC. That effectively it cuts those, that, those areas all off from precip. The storm flow is done. It's cut off in those areas, and it's going way up, that amplification way up into parts of Alaska. And then it's sliding down through Montana, Wyoming, and through Colorado. So this is a colder, drier pattern for Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. There's just not a lot of precip. And then look further down the road. This is the 17th, and that's up just a progressive west to east flow. And there's a little bit of ridging. Look at that high pressure sitting off the coast, far off the coast of California. Um, so there's a little, little bit of a bend in the jet pattern to the north. And there may be some overrunning moisture through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, northern Colorado as a result of this. Um, but this is, not, uh, this is not a big storm cycle pattern at all through the 17th. Um, so back to uh, my blog here, and we'll go into a little bit of timing with all of this. Um, so here is, and I do talk about late November, so if you want to look at that. Let's look at forecast timing. Um, so this is a forecast radar and satellite. By the time we get into Saturday morning at 6, there you go. There comes the low spinning south out of the Sierra. And by Monday morning, it's down in New Mexico, southern Colorado. And then it's gone. And then look at that flow coming out of Montana, Wyoming, into Colorado. That's that uh, a couple of cold fronts will dive south on that. And then by the time we get to the 16th, you're already starting to see that jet pattern bending to the north with that high really dominating off the coast of California. And it looks like there might be some snow up in the BC and parts of Banff with this, but um, that's a pretty dry, cold pattern for a lot of the Intermountain West. I'll run that through one more time so you can see it. Here comes our low diving down through California. There it is by Sunday morning. It's headed fast into New Mexico, and then it's out of here, and then you start to get that northerly flow down through Montana, Wyoming, and through Colorado with a couple of different cold fronts, and that's kind of it for a while. 
Um, I also went down and did some forecast snowfall um, stuff, so I'll go into that, and I've got that loaded in here. I did it in two phases, so all of today through the 15th, and one to three inches for 99% of all locations here. There might be a six-inch amount in Angel Fire as that low slides through that southern track low. Um, but again, this is, this is the way it looks through the 15th. Now, the second part of this is going to be the 16th through the 18th, and this is more of that jet bending up kind of progressive west to east flow. And yeah, there's some overrunning snow on this with a little bit of jet support from Banff and uh, all the BC down to Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, um, on that sort of that northerly flow. Uh, but it's not heavy. I mean, you're talking about cold air, um, it's a drier type air mass. So, you know, one to four inches will cover most places in the central and northern mountains of Colorado, the Tetons, and maybe a little bit through the Wasatch, maybe an inch. Uh, Montana would probably be in a little better position uh, with the jet streak coming through by the 17th. But, um, yeah, just no big snows through the 18th at this point. Now, I'll start to focus more on late November and add some more details to that forecast in the coming days. But I appreciate you guys tuning in here. Thanks as always.